Hey there, viewers! It goes without saying that the kitchen is one of the most important areas of the house. Extra attention should be paid when it comes to maintaining good kitchen hygiene. It's important to keep your kitchen healthy, especially during a pandemic. In today's video, we'll be discussing some golden rules that will help you fight off bacteria and keep your kitchen looking gorgeous. Whether it's washing your hands, storing food properly, or separating chopping boards, we'll be discussing all of this and more. Unsafe food full of bacteria, parasites, and chemicals causes more than 200 diseases ranging from diarrhea to cancer. It's estimated that foodborne disease causes around 325,000 hospitalizations and 5,000 deaths in the United States each year. Here are some kitchen rules you can stick to your fridge. Number 1. Don't forget to wash your hands. Hand washing is one of the most basic hygiene practices you should follow to prevent foodborne diseases. Whether you're prepping your food for your family, it's a habit you should stick to. Your hands can spread germs in the kitchen. Some germs like salmonella can make you really sick. Washing your hands often with soap and water is the best way to prevent germs from spreading around your kitchen. A recent survey found that 31% of participants do not always wash their hands before preparing food. Follow simple and easy hand washing tips. This way you'll have clean hands when prepping. Hand washing is vital before, during, and after cooking. Don't forget to wash your hands after handling raw meat, poultry, seafood, flour, or eggs. Cleaning hands before eating is an unwritten requirement. If you're touching garbage, washing your hands is a must. If you have pets, not only should you wash your hands after touching them, but also their food and treats. Washing hands after coughing, sneezing, or blowing your nose is a must. This is an extremely important practice in pandemic times. Cleaning your hands is at the top of the list of kitchen hygiene rules. This is because it's so easy for bacteria to be transferred. This isn't just a rule for adults. Hand washing is also essential for kids, so don't forget to teach them how to wash their hands properly. What do you use in your kitchen to wash your hands? Liquid soap? A soap bar? Sound off in the comment section and start a conversation with our bestie community. Number 2. Clean and separate your chopping boards Kitchen cutting boards can spread dangerous germs to both food and people. Cutting boards are often responsible for cross-contamination, leading to things like salmonella. Believe me, you don't want that. These tiny bits of food left on a cutting board can easily hold bacteria. This is why cleaning and disinfecting it after use is important to prevent any foodborne illnesses. Cleaning chopping boards is one of the most basic kitchen hygiene rules. You wash your hands, so why not the board? Most of us use chopping boards to slice up our ingredients. Well, here's a tip. Instead of using a single chopping board for veggies and meat, try using separate boards. The reason is simple. Certain fruits and veggies, particularly those added in salads, are consumed raw. Cutting these on a board that was just used for cutting meat or seafood will expose you to harmful microorganisms. Exposure to this kind of bacteria can result in severe illness. You can either use wooden or plastic cutting boards. Both can be sanitized with one tablespoon of unscented liquid chlorine bleach. Flood the surface with the bleach solution and allow it to stand for several minutes. Rinse with water and allow it to air dry. Either that or pat it dry with some clean paper towel. Remember that all plastic and wooden chopping boards wear out over time. Once they become worn, get rid of them. The most effective way to guarantee all your fruits and veggies are clean before consumption is by washing them with a disinfectant liquid. Have I caught your interest? Well, hit that subscribe button to watch more videos. Join our millions of followers for more amazing Bestie content. Number 3. Cooking at the Right Temperature one of the most important kitchen rules is to make sure the food is cooked properly at the right temperature. If undercooked, harmful microorganisms can breed and cause food poisoning. The way you cook your food is as important as the way you prepare and store it. If you're not cooking it the right way, you're gonna get sick. It's estimated that every year around 600 million people worldwide get sick after eating contaminated food. Out of that, close to 4,200,000 die. Cross-contamination between raw and cooked foods may also lead to food poisoning. Most foods, particularly meat, poultry, fish, and eggs, need to be cooked to kill off dangerous particles. Food should be cooked to a temperature of at least 75 degrees Celsius or 167 degrees Fahrenheit. After the cooking process is complete, the food should be consumed as soon as possible. If reheated, the food should be hotter than 60 degrees Celsius, 140 degrees Fahrenheit. Bacteria grows on some foods easier than others. High-risk foods include raw and cooked meat, dairy farm products, eggs, seafood, and ready-to-eat products. 
Remember to boil soup, sauces, gravies, and casseroles. Otherwise, dangerous microorganisms will survive. Make sure only clear juices are running from cooked minced meats, chicken, and roasts. Before we move ahead, here's another video you might like. Watch this video to know more about the seven ways to get rid of acne. Now back to kitchen hygiene tips. Number four, wash your utensils. The latest pandemic has reinforced the importance of good hygiene. Apart from protecting ourselves from the virus, it's also a good idea to look out for areas of our house that need cleaning and disinfecting. The kitchen should be number one. It's important to keep knives, wooden spoons, spatulas, tongs, and other utensils clean at all times. This way you'll stop the spread of bacteria. When washing dishes by hand, it's best to wash them all within two hours. This is so bacteria won't have time to regrow. If you put dirty dishes in the sink, leaving them for a long time will lead bad particles to multiply. This is due to the gross food bits left on the dishes. In order to give the bacteria less space to grow, you need to remove the dirt with hot water. Remember to clean them before putting them in any sort of solution. If you have a dishwasher, this is a very effective way to clean knives and other utensils. Dishwashers can wash at a very high temperature, which kills bacteria. It's difficult for bacteria to multiply when dishes are dry, so the key is to dry them completely. Allow your dishes and utensils to air dry in order to avoid contamination from hands or towels. Actually, that's the perfect segue into our next entry. Number five, cleaning and replacing kitchen towels. The kitchen and every tool in it should be washed and sanitized regularly to avoid bacteria. Kitchen towels or sponges are very important items. We use them every day to open hot lids, remove food from the microwave or oven, and wipe off food or water. Sometimes we get wet while using these towels. This is where microorganisms come in. They collect on damp surfaces. Bacteria are attracted to warm, moist environments, which is why the kitchen is one of the dirtiest parts of the house. Cross-contamination runs rampant in the kitchen, which causes microbes to spread and multiply. You'll be shocked to know that one study found 362 different species of bacteria lurking in and around kitchen sponges. In a recent study, kitchen towels showed harmful bacterial growth such as E. coli, which will lead to food poisoning. The study suggests avoiding the multi-purpose usage of kitchen towels for a healthier practice. Remember to clean and replace your kitchen sponges and towels. Experts notice the absence of pathogens from single-use towels. This suggests that proper hygiene could play a huge role in preventing bad bacteria. Whether it's scrubbing your sink daily, changing your bin, or cleaning your fridge, keeping up with a simple and easy kitchen routine helps protect your family from different illnesses. With the pandemic scare, maintaining a healthy kitchen code has become more important than ever today. Here's a couple videos you need to watch. Check out 7 ways to keep your groceries clean during COVID-19. Or how about 11 common kitchen items that are secretly toxic? Go ahead, click one. Or better yet, watch both and learn how little lifestyle changes can help you survive this pandemic. Do you know any interesting ways to maintain kitchen hygiene? Let us know in the comments below.